Hi, I'm Jessica Mannion at My Healthcare Direct, and today I'm going to show you the ways that you can enroll into Medicare Parts A and B. Before I go over how you can enroll, I want to go over when you can enroll. So for those of you who are already taking Social Security before you turn 65, they are going to automatically enroll you in Parts A and B. So there's not a whole lot you have to do, so you can probably disregard a lot of this video. But for those of you who are turning 65 and have not taken Social Security, you are going to need to self-enroll. And there are three ways to do that. And you can do that as early as three months in advance before your 65th birthday. So for example, I'm a May birthday, so the earliest that I could sign up would be February. So the three ways you can enroll. So the first way is you can set an appointment at your local Social Security office and you can register there. Now that normally is all well and good. However, with the current coronavirus that is spreading throughout the United States, that's really not an option right now. So you're pretty much left with two other options. So your second option is to call the Social Security office and enroll over the phone. The third and final option is to go ahead and enroll online. And that is what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So what you're going to want to do is go to Medicare's website, which is medicare.gov. And when you get to the main website, it gives you a lot of information and places that you can find. You can easily get swept up in this website. But let's say I know what I need to know. I'm ready to sign up. I'm going to click this first box, blue box, all the way on the left that says sign up slash change plans. Once I click on that box, I'm going to click on the first blue row that says get started with Medicare. When I do that, I'm going to see this note box where it says sign up for Medicare online. That's what I'm going to want to click. And it's going to take me to this web page. When I get to this web page, I'm going to want to click apply for Medicare only. Now there'll be a benefits application terms of service where I encourage you to read this and then click on the button that says I understand and then select next. Now you're getting ready to start your application. You're gonna to wanna to look at this middle box here that says apply and complete and click on start a new application. From there, it's gonna ask you a few questions. For instance, who is completing this application? For most people, it's going to be that you're applying for yourself. And then it's going to ask you if you have a My Social Security account. If you've never created one before, you're going to select No. And it's going to prompt you to ask if you have an address in the United States. Then you select Next. From there, you're going to create an account. But before you do that, you can click on this information you need. And this is going to give you some helpful information that you're going to want to have handy when you're, you're completing your online application. So I'm going to scroll down and click Create a New Account. And it's going to give me, again, some more terms and service where it goes uh, over the information from the previous page that talks about the information that they are going to want you to be able to verify. Then you click you, that you agree to the terms of service and select Next. And here's where you start the application, where you start putting in some of the basic information that you should already know, such as your name, Social Security, date of birth, address, phone number, and then email address. Make sure you select an email address that is easy to access and one that you have the login information to. Because if you're anything like me who obsessively checks their emails all the time, you're going to want to make sure that throughout the process, if there's any information that they may ask for, or if you want to check the status of your application, that you have a valid email address and one that you're able to easily access and not just a family or a friend's email address that you put down. I hope all this information was helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact our office at 888-959-1028 or check out our website at www.myhealthcaredirect.com.